It's me, Trevon, the six year cryptocurrency veteran. Let's look at the Bitcoin chart. So Bitcoin, now, like I say, I'm not here to be right. I'm not here to try and predict, but I did say that up here, we were going to run into some resistance and we were most likely going to roll over because we couldn't take out this. We, we didn't have a good chance of taking out the swing high with the 34 right here. We had the resistance coming in too early. So here we are rolling over due to the news that the world is, is falling apart, basically. <laughs> Just then, U.S. inflation surges to 9.1%, the highest in 40 years. So it's happened before. Cool. So we've been through this before. Good to know. Um, now, if they said first time ever, that'd be pretty scary. But in 40 years, that's okay, because it's happened before. So that just means that prices are going to keep going up. So if you're in the middle class, your life is going to be in shambles. So, but we'll get through it. We always do. Um, let's get back to the charts. So bad news. We're rolling over. Um, we're right on support, though. So I would not be selling anything here. I'm just sitting. Well, I'm not going to say what I'm going to stop saying that would not stuff. I'm going to say what I'm doing. I am not selling anything here. I'm just chilling out, waiting, keeping my dry powder in, in hand. Right. So what we're going to see across the board is what we're probably going to see is a bunch of M's. So we got one M forming here. Now, we did have a W forming. Right. Yeah, here it is right here but we couldn't make it we needed to get to here to make this a w but we're having an m for sure because we can see it right here on top of the support right on top of the line where you would draw the, the m on a piece of paper that's where the support is breaking so once like i said break below here it's not looking good if we break and close below here it's really not looking good we did try to get a fake wick up now we gotta wait till this day closes. Let's move on. Let's see what's up the most. Hex is up the most today. Up that's versus ETH. Up three percent versus the dollar. Wow, that's interesting. Hex has not broken its support yet. It's actually holding up better than Bitcoin. It's outperforming Bitcoin. Had a nice little try of a breakout earlier this morning. That's why, you know, I want to wait till these candles close before I get too bullish. If we get a close above here, if Bitcoin starts to make a move up, that green move up that I would like to see, that's going to make Hex look really good. Hex is going to break out here. It's going to start testing the 34. If it can get above the 34 or get above this resistance right here, four cents, man, Hex is going to be looking to make its W. Um that we've been talking about for a while. It's not, it's really having a hard time. So we'll see. Um, AVAX, another one doing better than Bitcoin, but broken support, close below, it's not good. Now we had the bullish cross on AVAX, but if you've been following me for the past six freaking years, you know that I hate this um, bullish cross with the price below the cross. It's like a, negative is like two negatives crossing out so avax i think i think everything's gonna roll over i think everything's gonna look green for maybe a little bounce but i think we're ultimately going to stall out somewhere and roll over because we're not going to be able to make it back up to here that's what needs to happen to to keep this move going we need to go all the way back up to here it just doesn't happen like that in a short period of time I have to go straight there we can't stall out um so we'll see ship another m these and then these m's are the bad ones these aren't the good m's breaking down if it breaks below the 34 here it's going to be looking pretty bad um ship just not looking it's looking better than a lot of stuff it went up it went up more but nothing is immune man matic breaking down it had a bullish cross had a huge run up just like ship but it's breaking down as well it's looking to make an m um, I think these things like SHIB, HEX, AVAX, they have a longer way until they get to their swing lows, which I'm going to pretty much be talking about. Uh, Tezos breaking down another M there. XLM, man, XLM leading the way down, which is where I think most coins are going to meet new swing lows. So it's already making it swing lows. ENS breaking down. I think it's heading to new swing lows. BCH 
already there and it's downtrend, a clean downtrend here. So look for the market to make a move up to here. Right? Everybody's bearish today. Gonna have a move up to here and then another rollover. So that's just what I think. I hope I'm wrong though. Crow, not looking good. ETH BTC, this has been broken down. But it's on right on top of support though. ETH USDC uh, on support, Litecoin. Everything's making an M and everything's making an M sitting around support. So like I said, I wouldn't be selling today, um, but it does look bad. But that's why I don't want to sell. You know, you don't want to sell when it's looking bad. You want to sell when it's, you know, looking better than ever, which is very hard to do. Um, Saul breaking down making an M sitting on the support BTC talked about it sand FTT pretty much everything's doing the same thing Cardano looks really bad it's a new uh, not quite might as well say hit new lows um, it is now trapped under the support I told I'm not here to be right guys I'm just pointing out the fact that I didn't have a good feeling about this support line right here. Um, so yeah, man. Dot leading the way down. SP breaking down. Link XRP Doge near Phantom XMR. XMR actually a little bit behind. Like if I was gonna do something, if I was gonna margin trade. I would short XMR just because it's lagging behind LISC ICP. And I might actually do that if I remember to after this video.